What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be checking out this pre-built desktop from the folks over at Origin PC. They are a very well-known and reputable uh, boutique system builder. And um, there's admittedly a lot of controversy around these types of high-end gaming pre-builds. And I think one of the main reasons for that is that you can often build your own system, an identical system, for a lot cheaper. Uh, and I think while that's true, uh, most of the time, there's a lot of cases where that is true. There are still a number of benefits that you might receive when going with a company like Origin PC. We're gonna be talking about that today. More specifically, I wanted to bring you guys along for the experience of what it's like to receive one of these high-end gaming desktops because this is my first experience personally. I've never even seen one of these or checked one of these out myself. So it should be a, it should be a fun experience for me. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the ride along with me and, uh, and we'll, we'll be testing it out. We'll be um, firing it up to see if there's any sort of software that's pre-installed that we need to know about, um, what the gaming experience is like, if it's just is overclockable and just as fast as a regular DIY system that you might build yourself, uh, including what it all comes with, uh, you know, the accessories and things like that. First off though, uh, before I get ahead of myself, I did want to plug the giveaway that's currently ongoing with Fractal Design and the folks over at Origin PC to win this exact system right here. This is a $3,800 rig, uh, their Neuron system featuring a 7700K Core i7 from Intel and two GTX 1080 Ti's in SLI. If you want the full specs and details on how to enter, go ahead and follow the link in the description below. On that note, guys, let's go ahead and talk about what comes with this package. So first off, uh, the system itself came in a nice big wooden box. We actually needed a screwdriver or a power drill to get it open, but it was really simple after that. Uh, and it also comes included with a shirt. You get a nice Origin PC shirt. We've also got what looks to be a bag of power supply cables for our EVGA power supply that's inside the system. And look at that. Wow, these are some really nice custom sleeve cables. These are not extensions. These are straight cables that go directly from the power supply to the various components. And it's pretty much, we got the whole gang here. Um, SATA, VGA, EPS, uh, just Molex, all around. And this sort of reminds me that with a pre-built like this, at least they're using all standard universal form factor components, meaning you could upgrade and expand the system however you want at any time, and uh, they've clearly given you enough cables to do that. So for example, if you wanted to swap out the GPUs later down the line that required uh, different PCIe plugs, you're pretty much covered with this batch of cables. And uh, don't quote me on this, but they look like they might be uh, uh, what, what's, what's the word? Paracord, paracord sleeving. I'm not exactly sure if that's what this is. Whatever it is, it's really nice. So I'm sure most users will be happy with the quality there. And then we've got this Origin PC box, which I would imagine is filled with some motherboard accessories. We've got our AC cable, of course. Uh, yes, motherboard accessories like the Wi-Fi antenna uh, for the motherboard. Um, we've got, uh, you know, SLI bridges, extra SATA cables and things like that. A USB flash drive, a 16 gig um, Kingston flash drive which uh, is USB 3. That's nice, a little USB 3 flash drive. I would imagine there's um, some drivers on here uh, just for backup. We'll see once we boot the system up. And that's it, guys, that's very simple. It doesn't come included with a bunch of crap you don't need, like stupid posters that are folded up 30 times to look terrible. Uh, so it's, it's pretty much just the essentials, which is already a good sign. So why don't we go ahead and boot this guy up for the very first time and see what we find on the desktop. was a success. Here we are in the ASUS UEFI of the Z270G gaming motherboards, an ASUS ROG Strix model. And uh, let's see here, we've got uh, we got some overclock settings. It looks like folks over at Origin have already dialed us in a nice XMP profile for our memory, DDR4 2667, very nice. They've also done an all core overclock on our 7700K to five gigahertz, beautiful. And yeah, it's looking pretty good in here. Nothing that I wouldn't do myself, honestly, if I had built this myself. Uh, adaptive mode, that's good. So we're not wasting unnecessary power when we're in idling states. So beautiful, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and boot into the desktop now. Check out our Windows environment. 
So here we are right off the bat. Something tells me that this is not a default Windows 10 background. Looks like Origins had some fun here. On the desktop, you'll find icons such as this PC, Recycle Bin, and a PDF, Origin PC README. Let's open it up, see what they have to say here. We've got a little thank you and welcome message here. Some uh, notes about included accessories. Okay, so apparently the flash drive that comes included is uh, has a system image on it, not driver. So forgive me for that. Um, some other notes about overclocked processors, liquid cool desktops. This is pretty cool. 24 seven lifetime hotline at 1877 origin zero, or you can contact them via email support at originpc.com. I, I really think that this is one of the big selling points about buying a pre-built rig from a boutique system builder is that you have this constant lifeline of tech support. There's only one company that you have to go through uh, regardless of what happens with your rig. If the CPU is bad or if the memory goes bad, there's something wrong with the GPU, the case, it doesn't matter, you just have one contact for all of that stuff. On the other end of the spectrum, if you build your own system, you're pretty much responsible for uh, troubleshooting everything yourself, which most of us are comfortable with on you know all the viewers of this channel. I'd say a lot of us are really uh, tech savvy enough to go in there and troubleshoot things ourselves, but not everyone has the know-how and especially not everyone has the time to uh, fiddle around with their systems. So for users who prefer to not get their hands dirty when it comes to servicing their rigs, I mean, Origin is just a call away and uh, offers support in a moment's notice, which is really handy. Last little bit of information here, it says all important items will be located in the C Origin PC folder. They've got some recommended apps in there. Let's go ahead and check that out. Here we can see we've got our, oh, they actually hooked it up with a 500 gig Samsung 960 Evo. Holy crap, it, it actually said, uh, on the spec sheet I was given, it said uh, 250 gig, but hey guys, if you're entering that giveaway, 500 gig NVMe SSD. Holy crap, that's really nice. And of course a four terabyte WD black, but okay, they said that the important files would be in C Origin PC, which is right here. So we've got Origin logos, yada, 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 recommended apps, CPU-Z, beautiful hardware monitors, have some nice monitoring apps for temperatures and uh, frequencies and things like that. Web root and origin team view. Origin team view, I would imagine, is if they need to actually service your, your system for you and they need uh, to remote in so they can take control of your desktop and help you out and see what you're seeing. Uh, that's actually really handy. So let's let's take a look at some of these, uh, some of these, uh, the, the, some of the datas. Let's take a look at some datas right here, CPU-Z. All right, so we're probably not gonna see the five gigahertz reading right now. Uh, just for a second there when we when we load it up because we're in adaptive mode, right? So it's only gonna um, hit five five gigahertz consistently once we put a load onto the CPU. Uh, but that's cool. You can see here we've got uh, some memory running at the rated 2666 megahertz, dual channel, 32 gigs, DDR4, absolutely beautiful and hardware monitor. Sorry if it's a little tiny on the screen, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then hardware monitors. Let's take a look at some temperatures here. Uh, idling temps, we are currently rocking anywhere from the high 20s to low 40s. I mean, it's bouncing all over the place, but mostly in the 20, high 20s, I would say. We're idling in the high 20s, it's very nice. It's super chilly in here as well. I should mention ambient is probably around 21, 22 C. But you know what, guys? You know what I wanna do now? I wanna see if Origin PC actually overclocked our graphics cards as well. So I've installed MSI Afterburner. I've got two instances of GPU-Z running, uh, one for each of our cards. The one on the left is the top card. The one on the right is the bottom card. So I'm gonna fire this up right now. Hey, 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 it looks like this has already been fiddled with. Power and temp sliders are maxed out and there's already been a 120 megahertz core clock offset and memory clock offset input into the system, into the, uh, into the software here. So it looks like maybe Afterburner was already installed. I just didn't know about it. At any rate, it looks like we're already running overclocked with our GTX 1080 Ti. So that's pretty cool. And of course, I would imagine that your, your mileage is gonna vary based on the type of configuration and loadout that you go with. Uh, with Origin PC. Some of the systems might be overclocked fully, the other other ones might not be, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like ours is. Both CPU and GPU seem to have uh, gotten some treatment, some love from the, uh, the Origin PC guys. So we've got uh, Unigen Heaven 4.0 running right here, and we're just gonna keep an eye on these temperatures first off, actually all of our data here. Core clock is currently at 1961.5 megahertz on both cards. Temperatures are a rising slowly but surely. All right, so it's been a couple minutes now and uh, the system is, has definitely gotten a bit louder. It's not overwhelmingly loud though. It's nothing that would blow your ears out, especially if you're wearing headphones or listening to in-game audio through the speakers or something like that, but it is there. Taking a look at the temperatures on the bottom card, we've got a GPU temp of 86C 
and the top card is running at 89C. We're almost hitting 90 degrees on the top video card. Uh, it's, it's kind of a shame that, that it's a micro ATX board and we're unable to put an additional slot between the two cards that would open up just a little bit more airflow, I think, for the top fan, but what can you do? Um, tis the form factor. And then we've also got, what's even more concerning though, is the GPU load. We're, we're pretty much at 100% load on the bottom card, but on the top card, we're getting anywhere from 70 to 85, de uh, 85 degrees, 85% GPU utilization. Um, and, and also under the performance cap reason, which uh, gives us uh, an explanation of why performance might be capped at any given point, I was seeing the thermal uh, icon pop up, indicating that we're running into some thermal limitations with this top card. So that could also explain why our GPU load is less than ideal. Um, but uh, why don't we go ahead and play some games at this point? I think we should fire up some games. Uh, by the way, still at 1920 by 1080 in, in uh, Unigen Heaven 4.0, we're still getting over 200 FPS. Just, uh, just, just pointing that out. All right, here we are in GTA 5. Uh, one of two games that we're going to be trying out today. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the settings we're using. 4K. All right, no VSync, obviously. Everything's maxed out with the exception of MSAA being at uh, 2x. That's also the, uh, goes for the reflection MSAA but everything else is completely maxed out. All right, so we're rolling through the streets here and it looks like we're getting anywhere from 90 to 110 FPS, depending on the textures in the scene and things like that. Um, but uh, overall, a very smooth experience, not getting any sort of stuttering. Uh, there is uh, some screen tearing, but that's of course for different reasons besides the system itself. All right, so this gives us a pretty good idea of how the system performs in GTA 5. And honestly, guys, with the current settings that we're using, this is probably the most demanding title that I use for testing currently. So if that's any indication of how uh, speedy this system really is. I mean, honestly, pair this rig with a, a 4K G-Sync display with a decent refresh rate and you're in friggin' business, man. So uh, on that note, why don't we go ahead and switch to our next game? Okay, quick change of plans. Uh, for whatever reason, the only other game that I have installed on here, Doom, is not working. It's just a black screen every time I launch. I have no idea what's wrong, and I don't really have the time to figure it out. So instead of running a second game for this video, I decided to run 3D Mark Fire Strike Ultra, a, a fantastic synthetic benchmark, just to see what kind of crazy number it spits out. And here we have an overall score of 12,854 with a graphic score of 13,000. 873. And just to put things in perspective, I actually brought up the uh, the scores from Hotline, my custom water-cooled PC that was pretty much the best gaming desktop you could build in 2015, just two years ago. And uh, here these, these numbers just look so sad in comparison. An overall score of 8,271 and a graphic score of 8,366. Uh, if we're talking graphic scores, the Origin PC has a 66% lead over Hotline, which is just absolutely insane. So very impressive numbers all around. Additionally, I thought you guys might be interested in the maximum core package temps for our 7700K. So here they are after one run in uh, Firestrike Ultra. You can see here we have a max package temperature of 84 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. I would not uh, be comfortable with it getting much hotter than that. Of course, the end user always has the option to dial down the overclock or remove it altogether if they wanted to lower the temperatures a bit or even get into their system and swap out the AIO for uh, a bigger unit perhaps or even a custom loop should you be up for the task. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to conclude it for this video. I'm really glad I was able to take you along for my first experience unboxing and setting up this pre-built system from Origin PC. I thought it was a, a very uh, positive experience overall. It's always interesting to sort of acquire a, a DIY desktop PC that you haven't built yourself uh, because it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're kind of curious. You're wondering what the person who built it has done to it. Uh, you know, what does it look like inside? You know, did they do the cable management right? By the way, the cable management in this thing is freaking perfect. Like it is absolute 10 out of 10 perfection would manage again but I would make them manage it because they're much better at it than I am. Now, at the end of the day, yes, you could build this exact system for less money, that's true, but I think these pre-builds are really catered for a specific niche um, that may or may not apply to you. For example, people who don't have the technical know-how, who just uh, maybe aren't good with computers but really want to get in on that DIY uh, PC gaming experience. They've heard about the glorious PC Master Race, but they don't necessarily have the uh, technical skills to build themselves a rig. Uh, additionally, you might have people who don't have the time. Maybe they know how to build PCs and they feel comfortable with at least learning about it, but they're just, uh, maybe they're a single parent with two jobs and, you know, there are more important things to do with their time. Uh, that could be another reason why they might opt 
for an Origin PC PC. And finally, I'm sure there's a group of people who just feel much more comfortable running a PC like this if they have a direct support line, one company that they have to deal with for any technical issues that they have with this one product, not eight to 12 different products. Um, so there's definitely some value in that, I think, uh, in, in peace of mind, if you don't feel comfortable with uh, the, the subject matter or if you don't necessarily have the time to get your hands dirty. I'm gonna get out of your hair now, guys, so please leave me some feedback on pre-built desktops and this video in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like me to take a look at another one of these. Maybe there's some uh, some other form of testing that you'd wanna see with one of these pre-builts, or maybe you never wanna see me you know, feature one on the channel again. Let me know about that, too. Um, either way, toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to subscribe Subscribe for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. Also, before you go, check out Bitwit Ultra, my ad-free early access channel for a buck fifty a month. The first two weeks are completely free, and you can back out any friggin' time. Have a good one, guys. I love you all so much. Go ahead and check out the giveaway as well before you go, and I will see y'all in the next video.